center defensive mid. Cone man. Do we have to? Looking at? Um, all right. So uh, I feel like I'm definitely going to miss some names here. But I got four names on here. I got Dax, obviously. 291 games, two-time All-Star, two-time Supporter Shield. I've got Kyle Beckerman, 270 games, five-time All-Star, one-time MLS Cup. I got Michael Bradley, 163 games, three-time All-Star, two-time Cup, one-time Supporter Shield. And then the last one, I went with Juninho, 210 games, one-time All-Star, three-time Cup, two-time Supporter Shield. And out of those four, it's tough. But I'm tempted to say Beckerman. Okay. Why? The five time all star thing really stands out to me. I mean I didn't I would I wasn't following the league back when I'm sure he won most of them, but out of when I was researching, that's probably the most all stars I've seen out of like anybody I, I picked. So you gotta imagine that he was just dominant for a time. <sighs> so, so remember when you remember when you said you were gonna miss some big names? Yeah, I know I was gonna miss some big. I was just trying to crunch in stuff as fast as I could. I'm gonna send this to Adam to yell at you because if I yell at you, I'm gonna yell at you for the next hour. I put Michael Bradley in my team. I'm not happy about it. I hate all of them. <laughs> I know, <laughs> but I I see the argument for Beckerman. I get it. The man's like. 300 years old was still doing a job at that holy mid but the success that Michael Bradley had with Toronto I I kind of was more impressed with at least I, that might be just because that happened a bit more recently I know who Andrew's going to pick cuz we spoke before this <laughs> yes we spoke about this beforehand but my my vote for Michael Bradley and if you know anything about me that physically hurts me to say if you can see me you can see it hurts me even more <laughs> oh just wait so here, here here's what i'm gonna say to both of you michael bradley's an eight not a six so he doesn't make tackles kyle beckerman just didn't make tackles period because he's playing next to oh my god what was his name rsl had that stupid enforcer next to him that did all the dirty work and he just picked up the ball and started going I forget what his name is. I'll look it up later. Um, do do the names Diego Chara or Ozzy Alonso ring a bell to anybody? Yes, they anybody. do. Anybody? Yeah, yeah. You know the two best center defensive mids in the last I don't know ten years. Literally, when you think of the sixth position, you think of Angola Conte, Claude Makélélé, Diego Chara, and Ozzy Alonso. It's those four. Mm. <laughs> I don't know if I go that far, but. <laughs> No, but seriously, Diego Chara, who was my pick, by the way. Yeah. 740 tackles and almost 400 interceptions in 224 appearances. Do you know how stupid those numbers are? It's absurd. That is almost three to four tackles a game and almost two interceptions a game. Do you know how hard that is to do in 90 minutes for 200 games, 200 30 games straight. The other guys needed at least 350 appearances to make 500 tackles. Put that into perspective. And then, and then, this is my favorite one. This is my kicker. Diego Chara has this really cool stat attached to his name that goes something like this. When Diego Chara doesn't play, Portland doesn't win. It, they went 22 games where Chara didn't play and they did not win. Thank you, NYCFC, for breaking that stat, you bums, and ruining my point. Were you, but, were you thinking of Javi Mo? No, Javi Mo was an attacking midfielder. I gotta, I'll look it up. Or I remember. Luis Hill. No, Luis Hill wasn't there when RSO. 2015, he was there. Roster. Luis Hill was there 2015? Yeah. Oh, was it Ned Grabovoy? <laughs> yeah. I think it might have been Ned, Ned Grabavoy, 20, 2014 Ned Grabavoy, who just went in and just stuck tackles like it was nobody's business. Yeah, yeah. Ned Grabavoy. But anyways, anyways, back to that. Um, 
Yeah, so so about this guy called Diego Chara. Yeah, when he doesn't play, Portland don't win, which means that when he plays, he's very, very good, which means he's the best center defense mid in this decade. Ozzy Alonso is a close second because he's the loon and because he made Seattle's number six position, like, famous. And then Dax is third because he's a Red Bull legend, ginger awesome, ginger ninja. Um, and then the rest of them can kind of just go that way because I don't care. <laughs> Diego Chara, Ozzy Alonso, Dax McCarty, in that order, fight me. <laughs>